at the risk of becoming a, a DC step-up converter bore. No, never, I hear you cry. I uh, just wanted to show you a little um, implementation. I have a need to power a 24 volt um, Wi-Fi antenna from uh, from 12 volt solar system. So um, this is the antenna in question. If we look, it says in there, 24 volts, 0.5 an amp PoE. Well, that uh, that figure is kind of nominal. When you look in the specifications for this particular nano beam, uh, it has a maximum of six watts. Uh, six watts at 24 volts is 0.25 of an amp. So we're just going to simulate that load with our DC load here, 0.25 of an amp. The other issue is that the solar installation is not particularly sophisticated and the input voltage uh, can vary down to probably 11, 11 11.23 uh, up to 13.7 or, or 8 so we're just going to vary that input voltage and see what effect that has out on our, our output. Um, the other piece of the puzzle um, in the final Im implementation is a little PoE just a physical adapter so we'll plug in the 2.1 mil 5.5 outside uh, jack to the, to there and then we've got the ethernet to uh, power the antenna so without more ado uh, let's switch on the the load so it's now drawing the 0.25 of an amp and we can see that the the voltage which I set earlier has gone to, to 24 dead so now we just need to simulate the variation in the solar panel or solar system uh, output so if we take the voltage down first so that's much lower than it's ever going to be otherwise it won't working at all but we can see that the output has remained uh, constant at the 24 volts and just tracking So as I say, I guess it could get up to as much as as 14 volts. It does get pretty sunny around here. Uh, so that's just over 14 volts, which should be uh, much more than it's ever likely going to, to use. And again, the, uh, the output 24 volts remaining nice and stable with the quarter amp load. So I hope you found that useful, um, now I need to build this into a project box and uh, get it out in the field.